Hello folks, uh, this is 2016 October November paper 42 and the question number is 11 and this question is concerned with the chapter electromagnetic induction. So the first question says state of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. So it is simply the first law is that when uh, uh, magnetic field lines uh, sweep over or cut the <coughs> uh, a closed coil or a closed circuit let us say closed circuit closed coil uh, EMF is induced and uh, the EMF is uh, directly proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux linked to the coil not others but those linked to the coil so an alternating current is passed through a air core solenoid so yes of course an iron core is inserted into the solenoid and then held stationary within the solenoid so iron core installed uh, inserted and held stationary the current in the solenoid is now smaller explain why the root mean square value of the current in the solenoid is reduced as the result of inserting the core so what happens is uh, when we have a simple coil when we have a simple coil and it is uh, connected to an ac source like this ac means there is continuous variation of current and because of that uh, this thing also is giving uh, a sort of uh, a continuous opposing emf continuous emf opposing emf but when iron core is inserted what happens is if iron core is inserted now the field lines cannot spread as before the field lines cannot spread as before so initially it might have been like this or like this but now because of the presence of this iron core iron core most of the field lines will be around here so uh, because of the more number of field lines the rate of change of uh, those field lines will also be higher because of more number of field lines in this vicinity so the rate of change of the number of uh, those field lines also will be higher though the time is same because the frequency of the input signal is same so within the same time we will have a more number of field lines interacting here so that's why the induced emf emf induced will be induced will be higher will be higher because of more number of field lines in the same time now we have got input emf here and we have got induced emf and uh, this induced emf is opposing in nature compared to the input emf so that's why the resultant the current will be equal to resultant emf it is e minus e induced by the resistance of the conductor wire so if this increases then this whole thing will decrease and so the overall current should decrease so that is the cause of the decrease of current when this uh, uh, iron core or any iron material is inserted in the coil now number c practical transformers are very efficient however there are some power losses so uh, stay two sources of power loss one is the because of the ed current ed current because in the transformers they have the iron frame iron frame or the iron core and in those iron cores what happens is because of the changing magnetic field the charged particles there give rise to uh, rise to uh, or they give rise to extreme currents uh, random currents which are of a very high value because of the high frequency and uh, those are ed currents and so the loss uh, the loss there uh, causes great uh, power loss and the other is simply uh, loss due to due to resistance of the wires loss due to uh, resistance of the wires and if we can add one more it could be due to uh, hysteresis loss so whenever there is magnetic uh, material or substance there is always hysteresis it means that uh, if we magnetize something and demagnetize uh, the demagnetization of the material does not exactly uh, coincide with the magnetizing field it, there is a slight delay so that is called as hysteresis loss and so because of that also uh, power is uh, some power is lost in each cycle so more points can be added but uh, you can use any two among these three uh, suggestions